Several passages of the Quran would not make sense if it was a corruption of the text itself. For example, O people of the book, we are told in Surat Al-Maida, Ayah 68, O people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand fast by the law, the gospel, and all the revelation that has come to you from our Lord. This would not make sense if there had been tahrif bilafs, the corruption of the text. In Ayah 47 of Surat Al-Maida, we read, let the people of the Gospels judge by what God has revealed therein. This exhortation would not be possible if the text was corrupted. We read in Surah Yunus, Ayah 94, if thou, Muhammad that is, were in doubt as to what we have revealed unto thee, then ask those who have been reading the book from before you, the people of the book, if the people of the book had in their hands a text that was corrupted and not reliable at all. This exhortation would not make sense whatsoever. The Quran itself attests that though people can twist the meaning, they cannot actually alter it and cause it to be lost. It says in Surah Yunus, Ayah 64, there is no changing the words of Allah. That is the supreme triumph. La tabdila, la kalamati Allahi thalika, huwa al fawzi al azimu. That is a very strong text telling us that there is no changing, no possibility of changing the words of Allah. Since the original Torah and Zabur and Injil are said in the Quran that they are the word of God. Then like the Quran, they must be preserved and remain eternally for they have both the same status. Secondly, notice that what it says, and this is very, very important, my friends. It says that this is the supreme triumph of Allah. It tells us very clearly, which means the most excellent, the most majestic triumph, victory of Allah is that he is capable of preserving his word.